Good day and welcome to this tutorial class. My name is Oluwa Tumbi Blessing Olalikon, the founder of Michael Tech. All right, for today we'll be looking into the problem on the screen. Yeah, the problem on the screen is in first angle orthographic projection. That is, the front view is at the top while the plan is underneath. So we have to convert these two views into isometric drain into isometric drain making point a as the lowest point taking point a as the lowest point all right so uh to tackle problems such as this my very first procedure here is to produce a thin horizontal line like this in this manner okay after that in horizontal line i am going to produce a vertical line to it in this order like this right here okay so that is the vertical line then after that i am going to provide my what my isometric plane which is what i'm doing right now on this axis like this okay then on this axis like this okay after that so what was the next thing to do okay so the very first uh procedure the very first area i'm going to measure is this so i'm having a mark of uh 20 first of all yeah this mark of 20 first of all i'm going to pick that okay after that mark of 20 uh at the top here 20 plus 25 is what that's 45 so then i'm going to measure 45 also mark 45 which is this right there okay so then going forward from the bottom here on the vertical plane i measure height of what height of uh 20 which is this first of all then from there i measure height of 134 134 which is going to be uh this I'm coming. Okay, I can pick that with my compass to avoid unnecessary distance. 134. So that is it right there. Height of 134. So that is it. Height of what? 134. So then uh, on this axis here, I'm having a distance of what? 88. 88 on this axis here. 88. Mark 88. So I'm picking that right now. 88, which is this. So with those points taken, I'm going to what draw them out with my what with my set square. With my set square. So right here, I'm projecting this vertically like this in this manner. Hope it's straight. Yes, it's straight. Okay. So uh right here i'm projecting this also okay i'm projecting this vertically like this okay then i'm projecting this also right here vertically like this okay after doing that i'm going to project this right here like this okay then i'm projecting this right here with my 30 degree set square okay like this all right then sliding is downward i'm having it right here like this Okay. yeah like that and i'm going to be having this right here like this okay this right here over there okay then i'm i will be having this right here Okay, and I'm going to be having this right here. 
all right so now let's start developing let's start developing okay so i can actually take in this area out yeah because it's visible now i can take in this like this all right so taking this from here down here okay yeah you can take in the whole of this from the top there yeah. like this okay then the whole of this also and this then this like that okay so i can also go ahead with this right here like this all right yeah can go ahead with that so before i proceed further before i proceed further so we have a, a cylindrical aspect here yeah, a tapered cylinder right there okay so we are told that from the top an height of 44 from the top height of 44 let's get that straight first of all so this is the height of 44 right there okay and it is sitting at the middle so 44 from the top and if the total span here is 88 then i'm going to pick 44 on this axis also mark 44 on this axis also which is this so each of those axes will be projected like this first this area like this slightly okay then uh this area will be projected like this faintly also now so the first cylindrical aspect at the back we are told it's diameter was diameter 64 that would be radius what radius 32 with my ruler okay with my ruler i pick radius 32 which is this with radius 32 on my ruler standing right here i mark bottom top left and what and right so with this i develop faintly okay yeah faintly draw them faintly okay they shouldn't be thick they should be faintly okay faintly okay so right here i have this and right here i have this okay so as it ought to be i join the longest diagonal which is this okay so and from here to here one and from here down here two so with my compass intact standing at this junction extend my compass down here okay i would i draw this i make it bold once and for all i make it bold bold as you can see on the screen making it bold okay yeah so then i'm going to stand right here standing right here my compass right here i would i draw this making it bold also okay then standing right here also i'm drawing this yeah i won't actually complete it i'm going to stop it here also at that center okay i'm stopping it right at that center like that okay which is what half half okay so the next procedure is this the next procedure is uh from this midpoint i'm going to watch project it forward okay so from that center i project it forward which is this okay from the midpoint i project forward which is this line okay so the length there is what length of 64 length of 64 so which is going to be uh coming length of 64 so from here that's the length of 64 so standing right here i pick 
which is this. So having it right there, I'm going to what, uh, project vertically on it first of all, like this in this order, like that in that order. So after doing that, I'm going to project isometrically on it also like this in that order. Okay, so I have this and what and this. Okay, so now at the front, we are told that the diameter of the cylindrical aspect there is what is diameter 50. That will be radius what? Radius 25. So with my compass, I measure 25, which is this. With radius 25 standing at this junction, I what? I strike left, right, bottom, and what? And top. Then after doing that, I'm going to project them isometrically. So from the top, I have this like this. At the bottom, I have this right there, faintly, okay? So then vertically on the left, I have this. Then on the right, vertically, I'm having what? This. So as it stands now, so I'm going to what, join the longest diagonal, which is from here down here. From here to here, okay? Longest diagonal, which is this as you can see on the screen right there then after that so from this area to this one and from this junction down there two, as you can see on the screen right there so then i'm going to what, pick my compass picking my compass standing right at this junction extending my compass right here i what i draw i make it bold i make it bold once and for all okay Make it bold. Then standing at this junction also. Okay. I would I draw. I make it bold also. I make it bold. Okay. Then I'm going to stand at this intersection right here. Okay. Extend my compass down here. Then I would I draw. I make it bold. Okay. I make it bold. Then standing at this intersection also. I would I draw. I make it what? Bold also. I make it bold so after doing that i'm going to pick my ruler from this midpoint to this midpoint here i'm going to what align them and what draw tick straight up then this junction here to this junction i'm going to align them with my what ruler and draw it tick also like that okay yeah we are almost done so inside this we have another uh we have a bold hole there yeah we have told that the diameter of that hole is what diameter 25. diameter 25 will be what radius 12.5 radius 12.5 so with my ruler and my compass i measure radius 12.5 which is this i stand at this midpoint i strike bottom top left and what and right so then i pick my what my set square on the left hand side i draw slightly vertical on the right hand side i'm going to make it faint vertical also so then isometrically at the top okay as you can see on the screen and at the bottom right here i draw okay so longest diagonal is already existing so from this corner right here to this one and to this two so with my compass standing at this junction right here to this area i what i draw i make it bold sorry my compass shift okay that's it i draw making it bold then standing at this corner also right here i what i make it bold make it bold okay then standing at this intersection right here okay to here i what i make it bold I make it bold then at this intersection right here okay take note take note okay the second intersection is this area right here so from this intersection right here okay and extend my compass to the tip here okay yeah as you can see on the screen there i what i draw i make it bold also I make it bold also okay so 
then after that what do i do next i just pick my ruler taking this down to here then this coconut part has the bottom down here okay then i was taking this here to here taking this straight up right there taking this right here then i'm going to take in this right here so as it is that is the complete production of that uh problem on the screen yeah so that's a complete view on the screen okay in isometric projection in isometric equation kindly ensure you refer this video to your friends who might be in need of it and also subscribe to our youtube channel my name remains Oluwatunbi Blessing Olalekon, the founder of Michael Tech. Thank you.